family, friends, we're gathered here in the presence of God to celebrate the union of David and Rachel. No matter how far, no matter wherever you are, I'm with you. Deep I want to start by briefly recalling our first official date. That started with, will you go out with me? Yes, yes, or yes. This led to my sister helping me make chocolate covered strawberries and giving me helpful pointers on dating advice. I remember on a very snowy February 14th many years ago being incredibly nervous. So nervous that I drove down the wrong way of a very snowy one-way street downtown Boulder. However, sitting across from you in a restaurant with your warm, beautiful smile, confidence, intellect, and like-minded values, more specifically, the love of gaming, <laughs> competitive spirit, and many other introverted-like tendencies that we share set my mind at ease. I remember hearing of Rachel meeting you <laughs> and the smile that was on her face, goofy smile that was on her face, but it was a smile of joy because it was a face that showed me she had met someone she cared about. And then when I met you, I saw that same kind of glow in your eyes. It was like she was the one. That's right. It was like she was the one. I remember calling my mother shortly after, asking if the four dates that I promised her to go on could be with the same person. I knew in that moment that I could spend a lifetime with this person, which over the course of 13 years plus, more. <laughs> has become more than my best friend, but my foundation, which I plan to continue to build for years to come. I think that our love is something so special and unique, and after 16 years, and we're doing this again, <laughs> I think it's gonna last forever. No matter the time that has gone between us, Darling, I'm yours and I'm yours. And together you guys form this incredible union. I watched you as you grew together and all the things you would do. The nerdy things that I would do. <laughs> but just, they would do them with joy. And sometimes we'd sit back and go, that's just David and that's just Rachel. As David and Rachel celebrate their marriage, I pray that their hearts will continue to stay united as one with you in a desire to make you the center. May this day be a continuation of something that is beautiful, that has been in place for some time. May their love, like the wedding ring they will wear, be a circle that never ends. Grow that love relationship into one that is patient, kind, not boastful or proud, when it is unselfish and trusting, and a love that protects and perseveres through every season of life. Amen. We've seen the world together in all its diverse beauty, culture, traditions, as we piece together valuable memories and traditions of our own. I promise to see you as my equal in all aspects of life, as we build our future together. I promise to meet you where you are, especially on those moments when you're not 100% at your best. And I know we've been through that recently. <laughs> Which in all intents and purposes mean that we need to have coffee ready first thing in the morning. Mm -hmm. I promise to be that person that encourages you and to pat your back when you need it and just be a shoulder that you can lean on. I vow to take your gentle provocations to be a better person and partner with grace and humility as I know they come from a place of love and care. And lastly, I vow to love and be loved by my rock, my heart, my best friend in the world. One thing that I absolutely love about you, Rachel, is just the fact that you are not afraid to be yourself. 
I have super admiration for your courage, big vision, and your ability to use your imagination to write your own story. You always strive and work hard to get what it is that you want and to make it happen. And clearly, this wedding is a testament to that. And apparently, David is a testament to that, too. <laughs> you most definitely ignite Spark and my brother and put him in new and unique situations that push him to grow. God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless, preserve, and keep you. And God graciously, with his favor, look upon you, and so fill you with all spiritual benedictions and love, that you may so live together in this life, that in the world to come you may have life ever after, everlasting. Amen. Amen. I could make you wait a few minutes, but you may now kiss the bride. <laughs> everybody here so hopefully you all save some room for some food because what we had before was not dinner <laughs> this is about to be dinner so we're gonna throw it down here in a moment okay <laughs> doing things you've always supported her you, I don't think you've missed like a single fashion show you're always backstage there with her cutting things sewing things putting <laughs> let's not, let's not bring up cutting <laughs> things I do promise to allow you to keep eating my ice cream every single one <laughs> And when you get older and you're worried about losing your keys 20 million times, I will find your keys. But more importantly, I just promise to be with you. In token and pledge. In our constant faith and abiding love. With this wing, with this ring, I be led. That one. Again. <laughs> Again. With this ring, I be led. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 the phrase the happy happy wife happy wife is something that my husband and I want to say is <laughs> happy spouse happy house and it's very clear that the two of you make each other very very happy this marriage has been years in the making and it's about darn time that we're here to celebrate so let's all raise a glass to Rachel and David congratulations 